Welcome back, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look. Cruise ship. That's a Staten Island Ferry. It should be yellow. It should be yellow for a Staten Island Ferry, though. Um, oh, man. Okay, I've got a lot of stuff to get through. Now, we're going to be doing hydroelectric dams in this. We're going to be doing that um, up there. couple of things that I need to do first. Okay, first thing I need to do... Oh, oh yeah, no. First thing I need to do, before I forget, Renzi124. Renzi the first time in over 900 videos that I've made that somebody's actually left me a comment and said, could I have a shout out? So you know what? For the first person to do that in over 900 videos, you're going to get it. So Renzi124, here is your shout out. There you go. Right, cool. Don't say I don't read my comments. I read all my comments. And I, I reply to as many of you as I possibly can. Right, the second thing that I need to do Oh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Um, oh, the second thing I need to do... Well, I've forgotten what the second thing I needed to do is. So, never mind. Uh, i tell you why. I'm, I'm going to pause the game for a second. I want to show you all of these death crosses all over the place. Um, I think we need to put in some more crematoriums. Like, I don't know why it's... I don't know why it's kind of so bad. It's not, like, horrendously bad. But it's just not very good. So we're going to put a bit more in. Let's have a quick... Uh, that's education. What the hell am I looking for? I'm looking for death care. Here we go. And, oh, by the way, the names that you guys have been coming up with. Oh, my God. Seriously, I need to spend some time uh, and, and go through the comments again. And write down the best names and start naming stuff. Because, oh, my God, the names you've been coming up with are just staggering. Uh, death care. See, we got, I mean, we've got tons of... We've got way excess capacity. We've got like twice as much capacity as we should need on, from the crematoriums. Um, it's not a traffic issue because our traffic in, in town is not bad. Let me show you the traffic very quickly. Where's, um, where's traffic? There's traffic. Um, traffic is not bad. You know? I mean, look, the whole of downtown is fine. And yet we've still got... There's a red one. These ones, these ones, you kind of don't need to worry about too much because they, they just need to get picked up. But where you've got one that's actually red, like that one, that means that um, pretty soon that building's going to go abandoned because that, that person has not been picked up. Right? Here, you've just got... It's just, you know, yellow. It's like, a de yeah, there's a dead person waiting for transport. There will always be dead people waiting for transport. It's where you get a red one. Right, because this building's close to going abandoned because that hasn't got picked up. And I've seen a few of the red ones. And that's what you need to look at. Ignore these ones, the orange ones. It's the red ones. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, another another name for uh, for the crematoriums. Crispy Krems. <laughs> oh, crispy Krems. Come on. That's a good one. I love the clever ones. Where are we? Let's uh, let's pop a few of these in. Uh, where? I'm thinking. I mean, our coverage downtown's pretty. It's already pretty darn good. You know what? I'm going to put one on this side, like over there, and I'm going to put another one on this side. I'm going to get rid of that red one. You know, kill two birds with one stone. And we'll put uh, maybe we could probably do with one over here somewhere over here how about there and maybe one on the east side well mind you the coverage on the east side is pretty damn good we've got a cemetery that you know what we've got a cemetery here um how about if we put in a creme near the cemetery would kind of make sense we, let's just put it will it go yeah let's put it there there we go see it makes everybody happy Burning Grandma is obviously a popular sport in this game. Um, let's put... Uh, I think... A, a, mm, no, because over here, there, there's like one death icon over here. Well, you, you go on. We'll put one in. We'll put one in. Um, I'm going to put it in like down, down here maybe. There. There we go. Yeah, see, that's making everybody happy. Right. I guess... I guess that means we should put one somewhere up here. Uh, let's put it on this side of the road. Boom, there we go. Near the near the other incinerators. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to hell. I am so going to hell. Um, actually, we could probably do with one over here, couldn't we? 
that would not be a bad plan at all let's put one in there there we go cater to that area as well right let's take that off now the other thing that I was going to do in this episode was I was going to look at my fire because I'm still getting quite a few burnt down buildings I just want to have a look around and see if there are any areas which have bad coverage because uh, I haven't looked at this for like quite a while Everything's, like over here we definitely need one over here because there's no fire coverage over here so let's put one in for 50 shades of hay uh, oh there we go Boom. right that, yeah that's good coverage for the whole area we've got good coverage up here good coverage up here I don't know maybe like maybe another one like here yeah, put one in there as well. Okay, that's the fire coverage. Right, should we get onto the dams before I completely forget? Might be an idea, mightn't it? Yeah, all right, let's do the dams. Because um, there's, there's another thing I want to show you. I've been working in the asset editor again, and I want to show you, because that is just... Sorry, I know I built it, but it's just so damn cool. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to buy a map tile. We're going to buy this map tile over here. And I want to show you both the good and the bad side of hydro dams. So, let's get on with this. Let's get on with this and do it. Enough messing around. Serious. Serious sky now. Right, so, when you're using hydroelectric dams, it's very tempting when you, when you, find, when you first start playing with them to try and put in the biggest, most massive dam you can. Right, so let's put in, like, a massive one. Right, starting high up on the terrain and, like, going over here. Right? And we go, wow, wow, like 288 megawatts of power we can produce if we put this thing in. 300! Whoa, let's put that in. So, let's put that in. Right, now, let's, let's look at this, because this is very, very seriously cool. The water dynamics in this game is just incredible, it really is. Now, the water is going to start to build up, and you can see it creeping up here. And the water really does flow. It's all about the flow. Um, you've got water spawners, which will be like at the, like at the top of the river, uh, creating water, which then fl literally flows downstream. So when the game's calculating this, it has to get the water up to a certain level, a certain height of the dam to be able to power it. And what happens is, when the, when the water reaches a certain level, you'll see down here that, here we go, it's starting to flow now. And it's, it'll start to produce power. And as the water flows, the power will start to go up and up. Here we go, 192. And it'll eventually get up to that level of around, around 300. Okay, here we go, the water's starting to come through now, 240 megawatts. And you get some bits of overflow and stuff, but that'll all settle down. It, the, the, they definitely do take a bit of time to settle down. And look what I've done to the bridge. <laughs> it is now impassable. The tra oh, there's people being swept away. There's, oh, there's death and destruction. Awesome. Okay. Um, so. But look, this is going to start to drop down. And what you'll find is, if you put the, the height of the dam too high, right, you won't have enough flow to power the dam at that output level, right? Oh, see, it's down to 200, because what's happening is the water flows up, fills it up to the necessary height, then it opens up and starts letting water out to power this, right? But there isn't enough water to keep up with the flow, so then it stops, and your power drops and it waits for the water to come up and then it starts releasing it again and you get this intermittent power which of course is no use you know it's essentially the power from a hydroelectric dam will be whatever the minimum is because that's all you can rely on and you'll find that like the higher and bigger you build these above what it can cope with the worse your power output will be I mean, you'll find this probably dropping down to as little as 50 megawatts. And that's all you can rely on. If, if you rely just on this for your power, then whatever the minimum is, say 50 megawatts, that's all you could rely on to power your city. Because you, otherwise you'd have blackouts. right? So we need a reliable uh, hydroelectric dam that's going to provide consistent levels of power. So, let's get rid of this. Oh, 
I look at the water. It's like Moses in the Red Sea, isn't it? There we go. Oh, it's all flooding down. You can do some very, very cool things. There's already people got videos out with people flooding cities and all kinds of stuff. Right. I was going to do that, but I was too busy. Sorry. Sorry. Just couldn't do it. Uh, right. So let's go back. Let's put another one in. This time we're going to put one in that's a bit more conservative. And I'm going to show you. Oh, and I, I still haven't put nuclear power in. should do that at some point. So we're going to do one that's a bit more conservative. So instead of like starting way up here, we're going to start like down here. And you've got to look for flow. And these, these, these arrows tell you the flow. Like if they're little, then the flow is slow. If they're big, the flow is big. Uh, the flow is strong, big. Um, so you want to look for an area that's that's got all of these nice big arrows. So yeah, so this is a good place to build one. See, now we're going to build one that's a bit more conservative, and we're going to put one in that's about yeah, 224 megawatts. That's about right. Right, so let's put that little baby in. And we'll watch it again because it is just so damn cool to watch these dams. Seriously, I, 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 mean, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot get over how well they've done the water. It is just staggeringly awesome. And the water starts to back up behind the dam. You see we've got power output zero. As the height, the height of the water... The level of the water rises. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Starting to get some power outputs. Look, you can see it sort of bubbling up as it starts to release water again. Now you can see we haven't, we, we're not so high this time. We haven't flooded so much of the, uh, so much of the bridge. The output 224. Now what you will find is that if you get, if you get it right, look, 240, you'll actually produce more power than when 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 it's what it said when you laid it down to 288 All right so now you have to let these settle down and what i suggest is you put it in like go away do something else for 5 minutes come back and see what it settles down at and um but as long as you're not too ambitious when you put them in you'll get you should get fairly consistent power and this one, it said we were going to get, what, like two, 240 or something? And we're, it looks like we're going to be getting at least that. So there you go. So don't be too, amb too ambitious with your dams. We'll leave that there, and we'll come back to that in a minute, because I want to show you something else. This is cool. Now, I know I've built it, so I, so I shouldn't say I shouldn't be too egotistical, but I, do, I can't help it, because I think it's absolutely blooming awesome. Um, right, let's bang some roads in. I've been in the asset ed asset editor, which is very difficult to say. Uh, let's put a road in there. Lift it up. Oh, oh, oh! Just man, that was tight. Then drop it down. Actually, yeah, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down like that. There we go. I'm going to run a road across here. Oh, is that actually, is that wide enough? I don't think it is. Uh, you know, I should have, let, let's go back and do that again. I should have made this a little bit wider, I think. Because otherwise I won't get these puppies in, because these puppies are big. So, there's my bridge. Take it down. Right, because I need... These are eight wide, so I'm going to need... Yeah, that should be about right. Take it over to here. Actually, we can probably slant this a little bit. Yeah, that's enough room. And then, keep your fingers crossed that this works. Uh, let's take it to there. Page up to there. Take it across. Oh, come on. There. Oh, just look at that. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. I, I, I didn't think that was going to go in. I thought I was going to have to move the tracks, but that'll do. Right. So what have I been building in the asset editor? You, some of you will have seen this already. I've been building a modular airport parking lot. And boy, am I pleased with the results. It's in three parts. So let's go to parks. And... Um, 
there's a there's a left section so it's called skies big parking uh, there's a left section there's a middle section and there is a right section so let's put them in so here's the left section and we'll put that in like there and then we'll put the middle section in right next to it you want to be like butted right up next to it and then we put the right section in on the right end again butted right up to it and then just look at this oh hell yes airport parking and it's huge right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bang some of these in and then I'm gonna show you what the what the airport looks like afterwards because I think it just like transforms the place now I wonder if we can get three of these in I think we probably can you know if we try if we try the other thing I want to see is if people actually park in these because if you if you've watched the video you'll see that I've I've put parking markers not the markings on the ground these are invisible markers that tell cars that they can park there um, so that yeah that's that's the three and then we want another one we'll leave a bit bit of space that middle goes there and then the right one goes there then we're going to come up over here we're going to put another one in up here because this is a good place for some parking there and oh do you see that building chiching level up when I place that oh there's another one leveling up right so we've got uh, we've got something there and we're going to put uh, one over I'd love to put one this side as well I, that railway is going to get moved I think so let's let's do it from the other way so let's start there then middle and oh I they've got to be the other way around oh no, no I've got it the right way around I've got it the right way around there we go I did do it the right way around so there you go so we've got our parking and I could put some more in as well but look look what it does to the airport I mean, you just start to get a sense of scale, you know? You zone some more buildings in around it, but you've got these these big concrete parking lots and, and cargo storage areas. And I think the airport starts to really look like something. I hope you got over like I really, really hope you guys agree. I hope you love these as much as I do. I mean I thought they were I thought they were quite nice while I was designing them, but you put one in and it's just, oh, hell yeah. I'd really love to see a car actually park here. That would just be the best thing to actually ha see cars actually park there. But I think because we don't have any, any buildings or anything around, there's kind of no reason for them to park. Um, I, su I, I mean, I suppose what I should do is zone in. Let's zone in some, I don't know, some low density commercial along the front of here and uh, and along the front of here like what the hell and here and here and here and there we got any demand for commercial unfortunately at the moment no could put some more like along there uh we got have we got like power and water and stuff yep yep we've got um we've got power Certainly we've got power to this. Oh, look! Look! There's a car! There's a car! A car's parked in my car park! How freaking cool is that? And you can see the... I, I, go, watch the go watch the video. You can see me put these little invisible markers in. And they, they've actually parked there! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I Seriously! I know I'm a big kid, but that is just awesome. We can actually create parking lots where people will actually park. Oh my god, I'm going to create some more of those. I'm going to create some littler ones to go in the uh, in the city. Probably just probably just single ones, but like like you know fenced off and billboards and you know I should I should have put some like I don't know some oil drums and crates and rubbish like along the frontages, shouldn't I? I should have dressed it up a little bit more. And maybe even maybe even extended the, the the gravel on on the side. Oh look look! He just drove in and parked. Now okay, he didn't drive through the gate. All right, you know. 
you can't have everything. But look, and these billboards, by the way, uh, if you haven't watched the, the, that video, uh, these there are different kinds of billboards, and these are random ones. So you'll get different signs appearing. So if we look at this one, right, we've got... I've no idea what the hell is. That's for a, a burger. That looks like it's for a car, I think. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, see, this one's different. This one's a burger and donuts. And if we look at another one over here, what is it? Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh, I put the... Oh! I put the bl blooming cargo thing. I put this in, like, completely wrong. I put... <laughs> okay, that's got to go. That's got to be redone. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's try that again. God, I'm such a bonehead on it. Because I, I get I get overexcited and I'm I'm focusing on talking to you guys. And I'm a bonehead. You, I mean, you can't leave that factor out. Boom, boom, boom. And one on this end. There we go. That's right. Oh, and this time we've got... Um, God knows what. Yaksu, whatever that is. And more donuts. Loving it. Loving it. Well, there you go, guys. We're going to leave it there. Uh, guys, tomorrow, like... <sighs> I'll try and maybe get a video or two out, like like just in case you guys are sitting around waiting for uh, the game to be released. Uh, I'll try and get a couple of videos out early. But just in case I don't, have fun tomorrow. Enjoy playing the game. Now, I'll be here. I will have, I will have some vids out. I'll be here with the, with the sad people who don't have the game for whatever reason. Uh, so I'll be here to keep you company. But um, we're going to be sad. We're going to be missing the rest of you guys who are going to be avidly playing this the whole damn night. So, uh, guys, have a great one. Enjoy the game. Peace out.